Greetings, fellow Portal Masters. Greetings, fellow Portal Masters. I am Crash Rouser, and once again, time to Crash Scouts with another episode of the Gilgrunt Solo Run on Spyro's Adventure here on the channel. Thank you all so much for coming back and watching episode 15 of this series. Thank you so much for 15 weeks of this series. Pretty sick that we're 15 episodes in and Gilgrunt has not died once. Check the tally meter from uh, the guy. I keep forgetting your name. I'm terribly sorry. I should look it up. You know what? We got a couple seconds. I'm going to look it up right now. You deserve a shadow. You earned it. I'm going to get to the solo run episode and look at it there now. Just give me two seconds to find it. I just got to find it. Hold on. Nope, that one isn't uploaded yet. Leo Fish. Here we go. Not analytics. Comments. Felix Fe Felix Shalpl Shalopin. This is it. You're right here. Look really close. Hold on. Ugh. There. Felix, buddy? Shout out to you. He actually... He actually counts everything, which is pretty sick. So, if you guys don't know, this is a solo run where I'm playing with just Gil Grunt the entire time. And if he does get defeated in battle, I have one mulligan to try again. More details in the description, but of course, go back and watch the previous episodes. It's definitely the best way to get it. We're on the beach here now. Ah! Jeez. In case you weren't hip to it. <laughs> That's how we skeletons say oh. hello. Oh my god, he scared the crap out of me. I gotta go change my pants. Hold on. I gotta change my pants. I pooped, I pooped my pants everywhere. Oh my gosh. Or 204, more like. Anyway, why would you do that? That's so scary. By the way, I'm T Bone. Heard you make so spooky. Scared. <laughs> Little afterlife humor there. I don't know what you're saying. I'm so scared of you. And you think I'm dead? Hey, you're a Skylander, ain't you? Yes. Oh, you know, I could really use I'm not a brave one. one. <laughs> what do you say, pal? Huh? You want to help me find the rest of me? Oh, thanks a million. I love how we don't say yes or no. It's just like, yeah, I am. It's like <laughs> I think mine's out there somewhere. Never mind. If we just follow the dotted line here, that should help. Don't worry about me. I'll just put me together as I go. Oh yeah, this one, this, I forgot about this little weird random mission where we gotta go find the pieces of his bones. All right. baby. Like clearly there was a skull on that set of bones. Just watch. Just watch this. Get in here, Clamtron. Just watch when the bones come up. Like, clearly a skull, like a griffin skull on top of it, or a bird. Is that Jetback? Jetback confirmed? Hey, look at me. Uh, actually, I'm a body's half full kind of guy. <laughs> just need one more bone, baby. Like, cl like uh, I think that's Jetback's head. We'll just, we'll just, we'll get up to the next one again and just take a look. Just watch. Let me get there. Hold on now. Where's it at? Oh, yeah, this is the one that's all the way out here for some apparent reason. How did your bones get out here? Like, look! Look at that skull! That is Jetback's skull. Jetback is dead. Which he is, and he actually survived the Korlock, so... He's not dead. Cha-cha-cha! No offense, Mr. T-Bone, but I can't help noticing that your head would make a perfect receptacle for the next eternal source. You wouldn't happen to have an extra head on you, would Do you happen to have an extra head on you? I'm asking for a friend. Extra head. Extra head. Of course I don't have an extra head. <laughs> Jeez, the living. Can't live with them, can't? Oh, never mind. Actually, Chubbs, I could tell you what... Chubbs, that's before. rude. Not as handsome as mine, of course, He's but you know. fat. Actually, it's more like a mask. Will that work? Perfect. And you can take our Skylander hero there? Well... Seeing as how you did help me recover the rest of my body, I suppose I could help you out. Any day now. It's been Depends five minutes you. almost. Think you can handle going down to the underworld? I have seen the movie, so yes. Uh, here we go. Oh, you're gonna love this. I forgot you had to do this. If it was, I would have actually done that last episode. So I wouldn't waste time with this one. I would have made the other episode longer. Because <laughs> this one here, I'm gonna rant. I mean, ah! That scared me again. Enjoy that one. Headphone users, beware. Yeah, this is the episode where I'm ranting. Don't worry, I didn't forget. It's only been a couple minutes. <laughs> How was that spider crawling? That was clearly a hole. Whatever. I don't care anymore. I don't care. 
Crawling Catacombs. We're in the second, the level before where we lost Cinder in the Dragonlock. Spoiler. Skull mask. Skull mask. I know exactly where it is. I think. I know exactly where it is, think probably. It's kind of redundant having a skull mask in the underworld. You know, who'd wear it? <laughs> We're all skulls. Kind of silly. Okay, should be fine. Just as long as we don't run into any spiders. <laughs> Sorry, Bob. You're on your own. He's afraid of spiders. You're dead, dude. They can't do anything to you. You're literally dead. All right, so, ladies and gentlemen, one of the biggest things I see pop up all the time <coughs> is that uh, people like hard games. I don't know why. The audio is completely gone. Oh, there it is. It was probably fine for you guys, so you don't have to worry. So... A lot of people were upset over the fact that I stopped doing locks. And the fact that they... It's not the fact that they were too hard. It's just I was kind of getting bored of them. And the whole reason to play any video game is to enjoy it. Right? Like, for anyone in the world, their number one thing is they want to enjoy a video game. When I put down, you know, the full amount on a video game. Like, if I pay the full amount, which is like 60 or $70 before tax. I want to be able to play a game that I'm going to play for a while and enjoy it fully. Right? Now, why would I get a game that makes me angry on purpose? Why would a game that is so easy to die and super hard makes me upset? Why would I do that, right? Makes sense. If you're looking at me now, you're like, oh, of course. Now, there's a couple of issues when it comes to that. People will look at those games and say, first of all, oh, it's the sense of accomplishment. When you beat the level, you feel great doing it. Yeah, I understand that. But why would you do that in the first place? Why wouldn't you want to just play a game for fun regardless of how hard the game is? And when I beat a level in general, I feel accomplished. Like, I don't have to do a, um, it doesn't have to be a special level or a certain game that's super hard to make it feel like I'm accomplished. Any game, I, every level I beat, I feel accomplished when I beat the level. Right? So... Looking at games, say, like Dark Souls, for example, or Sekiro, or Cuphead, those ones, I don't see what... Can I not get you? Are you are you serious? How do I stop you? Oh, wait, throw a bomb at him. So, yeah, so I see games like that, and it's just confusing why people will go out of their way, play a game that's super hard, make themselves upset over the game, get very upset over the game, for that matter... I don't know why people get upset with games to begin with. I missed both of those somehow. Like, I don't understand why people would play a game that makes them upset or why they would do something in a game that makes them upset. It's one thing I will never understand in the history of my life. Oh, I messed you up, baby. So yeah, it's one thing I will never get. And that is number one reason when it comes to like those games like that. Whenever a game makes me upset, or if I'm, like, playing it and I don't feel like... I'm like, ah, this, this game is getting to me, you know, something like that, I'm tired of it. I stop playing. I take a break. I say, I'll come back to this later. And I don't keep getting upset with it. And that's exactly what I did with the locks. Honestly, the locks were getting boring for me, just because they were just so weirdly difficult at times, and I just didn't care if the Skylander lived or died. That's the number one thing. Like, if a Skylar got defeated in battle, of course I go, no, like that. But in the end, I'm just like, oh, it's one less one I gotta worry about. That's awesome. So, like, you look at the situation here where I'm playing this solar run here, and you can see I'm having a fun time. Like, legitimately having a fun time with this because of the fact that I uh, have not done a lock in a while. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I was gonna say, I'm like, I'm gonna get stuck and this is gonna close, but I realized it doesn't actually go away. There we go. I don't need to go in here. Never mind. So, like, me would me doing locks, I love doing locks. Don't get me wrong, they were they're absolutely fun. I mean, I'm the creator of a lot too, along with that. Not Pokemon locks, don't ever think otherwise. There's someone out there who claims that I who said that I said I created Pokemon locks. No, I didn't. <laughs> There's literally it's on um where's it, 4chan, I think? They came with a lock. They literally named it after the dude from Lost. I've never seen an episode of Lost. So, like, uh, excuse me. So, there's no way I can look at that and say I've made claim to those locks. I did, however, introduce the world, well, the gaming community of YouTube into locks on Skylanders. That's the truth. So, of course, why would I stop 
wanting to do the thing I created. It's because I got tired of it. I got tired of the game, and I felt like it felt like a burden half the time for me to actually play a game that I'm supposed to enjoy. Right? Which makes sense. If, you, if you're not enjoying a game, take a break from it. Come back to it, and you'll like it even more. And that's exactly what's happening with me with this series. Like, the Solar Run, I'm absolutely loving it, and of course, it's not doing as well as the other series on my channel. And I am perfectly fine with that. As I've always said, I'm never here for views, and of course, I kind of want to have a video viewed more than others, because I feel like I do work pretty hard on the videos to earn the right for you guys to actually want to watch them. And I say right in the lightest of terms, because it's not really a right. Get out of here, you. You can't hurt me. Clearly did, but... Um, geez, okay. There's a lot of enemies in this little area right now. What is happening? Come on, let's go like this. There we go. <laughs> so yeah, what I was saying is any game that's like purposely hard, I don't understand why... Ooh, gosh. I don't understand why people would play that just to make yourself upset. Like people are playing these extremely hard games and they're they're upset by at the end of the day. So basically because they're playing this game. Where the heck did you guys come from? Oh, right. Can you get in here? Do as a key. Dang it. So yeah, so that's why I stopped doing locks. That's why I took a break from doing locks and just casually playing through a game like something I haven't done in a while, especially with Skylanders. I can't tell you the last time I actually sat down and played a Skylander game from beginning to end with no implication of like locks or a special thing, like just sitting here and playing it. Now this one here, again, is, you know, not, not, it's technically a solo run. It's a special version of the game. I am playing through the game with just Gilgrud. I'm not switching at Skylanders and stuff like that. But wouldn't you guys want that? Wouldn't you guys want me to sit back and play a game that I have enjoyed for years and, you know, want to continue to enjoy it? Because if I stop enjoying the game, the channel's going to go away. Or the channel's not going to go away. It's more in the lines that I'm going to go away. And I don't know about you guys, but I kind of like recording, and I kind of like filming, and I'm getting annihilated right- Oh my gosh! Whoa! Get out- Oh my gosh, I'm really low health all of a sudden. Ooh, that's what you get for ranting, baby. Get out of here, get out of here, get out of here. Ooh, nice, nice. Oh my god, I'm stuck again. She's stuck again! Shout out, am I right, fellas? Alright, but stand back here, here we go. Look at that, nailed it. And you guys were wor you guys were worried. Psh. Screw these sticky web guys, man. But yeah, that's one of the reasons I stopped doing locks. And I say stop doing locks in the term because by the time this video comes out, I might have already, you know, taken back that that word already. Ha ha ha, LOL. But I just needed a break. I needed a recharge, I needed a restart. And that's exactly what this is. So now I'm sitting back enjoying a game that I haven't actually had a playthrough in a very long time and can fully say I'm fully enjoying this game again. So there's your rant for the episode. I hope you guys enjoyed that one. You actually got the skull mask? Not it actually lasted kind of the entire you. level, which is pretty you sick. Smell kind of funny, but you're all right. Hey, sorry about before. It's just, you know, spiders like to steal my bones. Long story. Tell you over some ribs. Is it your ribs? I actually don't like ribs. So, can we can I have a burger instead? Can I go? Okay, I just gotta stand there. All right. So yeah, shout to me for almost dying there. Are you proud of me? I can't put my, I can't put my thumb down. It won't, it won't go down. I can hang up now. Excellent. The skull mask of the philosopher king Mortalanus, first lord of the undead. Wait for it. <gasps> Spooky. Ah! Did I scare you? Boo! Did I scare you? Roar! Were you scared? Tell me honestly. Alright. The skull mask fits perfectly. Now we just need the eternal undead source. Nice. Hey, pork pie. If you're uh, so rude. an eternal undead source, I might know a guy. Is it you? Uh, we're not just looking for an eternal undead source. We're looking for the eternal undead source. Yeah, duh. Well, of course. I knew that. What other kind is there? Splendid, then. Let's go get it. Whoa, slow it down there. You can't just walk in and get it. It's being guarded by some ghouls over in the creepy citadel. Next episode is the episode where we lost Cinder in the original yeah, Dragon Lock. What we really need to get in there is the skeleton key. Oh, no, not I this see. one. 
Do you know where to find it? Well, yeah, some zombies. Two episodes from now, actually. Never returned it. Yeah. <laughs> you know, like they do. But if we put our heads together, I mean, uh, figuratively, we could get it back. Hey, what's up? No I'm down problem. here. <laughs> what do you say? Uh, not yet. No skin off my bones. In fact, no skin at all. <laughs> Y'all talk too much in this game. Anyways, that's going to do it for this episode. Next week, come back for us to get the skeleton key. I hope you enjoyed my rant, and I hope it makes a lot of sense, too. Um, but yeah, and in, a, in my in my words, basically, I just want to enjoy a game overall. Not too long, didn't hear. I just want to enjoy a game. So that's why locks were taking a break and all that. But thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Let me know if you leave a like and a comment below. But as always, I bid you.